Naruto is no ordinary character. He's a man thrown into nearly impossible, high stakes situations where luck, skill, and raw determination are his only lifelines. Emulating Kaiji means embracing his spirit of grit, resilience, and adaptability. It's about learning to survive and thrive when the odds are against you, and transforming desperate situations into opportunities. Here's a guide to adopting Kaiji's mindset and life approach practically and effectively. Number 1. Embrace extreme resilience and adversity. Kaiji's life is a series of setbacks and high risk challenges that push him to his absolute limits. Instead of crumbling under pressure, he uses these situations as chances to evolve. Building resilience in real life can make you similarly unbreakable. Start by controlled stress exposure. Kaiji isn't someone who avoids adversity, he takes it head on. To cultivate this kind of resilience, start by exposing yourself to small, controlled stressors. This might include engaging in physically challenging activities, taking cold showers, or setting up difficult personal goals that you gradually work towards. Each small victory against stress builds your mental stamina up for larger challenges. Develop a never give up mantra. In moments of extreme difficulty, Kaiji tells himself he can't afford to give up. Create your own personal mantra, something like, I survived worse, or I only need this one chance. Repeat this in situations of mental or physical exhaustion, and over time, this mantra, this slogan, this catchphrase will become a mental cue that will help you persist through hardship. Learn to reframe setbacks as learning experiences. Kaiji learns and adapts after every mistake and after every loss. Practicing this habit means that when you make a mistake, you immediately look for the lesson instead of getting discouraged. Ask yourself, what did I learn and how will I improve? This keeps you focused on growth rather than failure. Number 2. Cultivate High Stakes Problem Solving Skills Kaiji's survival relies on his ability to solve complex problems under intense pressure. To become like him, you'll need to sharpen your mind to handle high stakes thinking. Play strategy games or survival based simulations like poker, chess, or even escape room puzzles. But if you're playing chess, try to like wager some money on it so there's more high stakes. These games teach you to think quickly, anticipate moves, and remain calm under pressure. Aim to play with high stakes, whether it's monetary or other resources, to stimulate these high stress problem solving situations that mirror Kaiji's reality. Practice mental math and logical deduction. Kaiji has to make calculations on the fly. Develop your mental math skills through daily practice. Focus on calculating percentages and probabilities without using a calculator because those are what you're going to be needing to use for gambles. Because like, okay, but if I do this, there's probably like a 1% chance, so I shouldn't do this. But this has a 5% chance, so I should probably do that choice. Stuff like that. You can also challenge yourself with logical puzzles and riddles and gradually working up to harder ones which i'll put in the link in the description below this will train your brain to think critically and quickly even when you're stressed develop one step ahead thinking and kaiji's world is not enough to solve a problem he has to outsmart opponents and anticipate their next moves try this in everyday situations for instead for instance if you're negotiating don't just think about what you want but predict what the other party's desires and objections this habit of second level thinking will give you an edge when stakes are high. Number 3. Embrace the power of luck and gamble responsibly. Kaiji's life is inherently risky and he's often forced to gamble everything on his judgment. To embody this aspect, you need a healthy respect for calculated risk where both skill and luck come to play. So practice smart gambling skills. Play simple games like poker or blackjack with friends and then focus on strategy rather than the money involved. So this teaches you the art of calculated risk taking and when to bet on yourself. So you, even you could gamble recklessly, but just you just need to be able to like get out of the situation. So if you go in a bunch of debt and like life is over, then you lost. But if you're able to overcome that, then you're pretty much kaiji. Understand probability. Basic knowledge of probability can make you smarter risk taker. Learn about probabilities and odds so you can assess risk with a calculated approach. This knowledge will help you know when it's smart to take the risk and when to back off, a skill that is vital in high stakes scenarios. Develop an intuition for risk versus reward. Kaiji often has to risk everything for a slim chance of a reward, but he chooses his gambles carefully. 
Apply this mindset to real life and learning to weigh decisions in terms of what you stand to gain versus what you might lose. Practice assessing outcomes in everything you do, from career moves to personal decisions. So another word for this would be opportunity cost like you learn in economics. Number 4. Build mental toughness and self-belief. Kaiji's true strength is in his luck. It's his unshakable belief that he can pull through no matter how desperate the situation is. Building this level of mental toughness helps you face your own struggles with greater resolve. Practice the visualization of victory. Before Kaiji takes a big risk, he often envisions himself winning. Develop a similar habit by visualizing your success before entering challenging situations. Imagine each step leading to victory and replay it in your mind until it feels attainable. Train self-belief in small ways. Start with small personal challenges where you doubt your ability, like a public speaking exercise or a fitness goal. Achieving these will reinforce your self-confidence over time. In Kaiji's world, confidence is a given, it's earned, by surviving each challenge and proving yourself wrong. Learn to endure the impossible with mental exercises. Kaiji endures overwhelming despair, often on the brink of giving up and even he gives up all the time. To develop a similar mindset, pushing yourself in tough physical activities like long distance running or intense workouts where you hit mental barriers and you want to quit. Each time you endure beyond what you thought was possible, you reinforce the belief in your own resilience. Lastly, live with a mix of reckless optimism and realism. Kaiji's unique outlook is both grim and hopeful. He knows the situation is dire, but he refuses to lose hope. To become like him, balance realism with an undying belief in possibilities. Practice hope against the odds. Even when everything's falling apart, Kaiji believes in the small chance to win. He believes that like he's gonna hit the jackpot and then he's gonna be able to pay all his debt off and all his friends debt, debt off. Train yourself to find a glimmer of hope in each situation, however small. Practice seeing setbacks as opportunities to adapt and not reasons to quit. This perspective keeps you moving forward even when logic suggests you shouldn't. And then lastly, stay rooted in reality when aiming high. Kaiji knows his odds and limitations but still tries. Learn to set goals that may seem impossible yet stay grounded in the steps needed to achieve them. The balance of realism and optimism is what allows you to tackle extreme situations without becoming reckless. Of course, screw balance and be reckless, do whatever you want, just don't lose at the end because all that matters is that you win. But if you lose, then you just lose, I guess. If you know, you know. Thank you guys for watching and that's all for today's video. Kaiji is one of my favorite characters. I mean, the thing I do like about Kaiji is that, I mean, I like Kaiji and I don't because like he kind of cries a lot and he kind of like stays in despair, but he also has like a lot of optimism in him. He also like in high stakes scenarios, he's kind of like, he's him. So honestly, I really like the series as well. So it was fun doing this video. Thank you guys for watching. Peace on the street. And yeah, that's pretty much it. See you guys.